Hello, we are live. We are live. We are live. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Put y'all aliens in the chat right now. And uh, yeah, we got a hot show right now. It's about to get steamy. Okay, like and share, like and share, like and share. We're about to get started in just a moment. Get ready, because you're about to be an ATL. -ATL <laughs> Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? What's up, squad? Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Like and share, like and share. Listen, we have an exclusive interview today. Uh, if y'all were here earlier, I went through a lot of this ongoing uh, drama between Claudia Jordan and Larissa, aka Boots, honey, the historic reality star from Flavor of Love Charm School. Y'all remember her? I know y'all do. It's such a random beef. I don't know what's going on, but guess who's here to tell us what is happening? Larissa. 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 Hey. What's up, Larissa? Everything's good over here. You looking beautiful. Okay. Thank you. I had to run some errands. Okay. Listen. The people want to know. Everybody's been like hitting me up. They like, you know, it's this beef going on. Larissa and Claudia and the DMs were released. And then some blog took it down and everybody was reading Claudia. What What is happening? Can you give me the background of what's happening? Well, the background is you got a hating granny <laughs> who is a Karen, we not gonna which is a Karen. colorist. Oh, well, okay. Um, that I don't fool with, that has been jealous of me ever since this show that she claims is so old. But she is still bothered because she still has not came to my level. Sweetheart, Claudia, you're right. We will never be on the same level. Your ratings on your show have still not hit the two shows that I have done that you claim, you know, are nothing. But you have been trying and breaking your neck for years to get there and never have. So we're we're not on the same level, sweetheart. Okay, wait. Before I get before we get started, okay. I know we this is gonna be a long show. My dog barking, Biggie hush now. Um, <laughs> Biggie like, he, I, look, let me stop. He Biggie like, cursed yeah, party out too. That's what that's I'm how he do. He, he feel the energy. Come here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, uh, like, Claudia was in a, in a car earlier. Okay, and apparently. Someone sent over this clip. Shout out to Nine Mag. And I want to hear what she had to say because apparently, yeah, I don't know what's happening. Hold on. We Let's gonna, see we what know. Granny doing. Oh, Lord, not Granny. Not recognizing my story. She's saying Wait a minute. Let me rewind a little bit. Again, y'all, y'all know this fair what? use. Shout out to uh, Nine Mag. Boots. She was on Flavor of Love like 40 years ago and she wants to like tell she sees me. Hi. So she. I, I don't know. There was a oh, maybe we should talk about it. It's here. so dumb. Like, oh, I don't recognize her in the lineup. Seriously. Like, so she's going around making the rounds on social media on lower end blogs, doing interviews about me. And lower end not blogs, huh? Her. She's saying I'm not working right now. All I said is, stop fussing me. Go be a mom. Go be like, don't worry about me. Like, why are we arguing? Yeah. I've been you a know, mom. How you talking about my? Yeah, I mean, so now she's gonna do it. Oh, she's from Flavor Club. Okay. okay. I don't know anything about. It. I don't watch. I I block. Wait, her. was she trying to? Girl, get you watch. Mom? Yeah. You're you're a crazy man. <laughs> with the guy with the clock. <laughs> okay. But I don't know. I don't. She's not in my world. Like, All right. my, my and who is this I'm weird looking girl in the front? Be sure to like. Oh, yeah, we can get on in on all of them. Let's get this. <sighs> How did it start? I want to know. Can we start at the beginning? I want to know why. Yeah, let's get all the way to the beginning so we could okay. um have this Karen stop playing her narratives and only using black women as a crutch and her black supposed side when she want to play victim. So let's take it all the way back because I got all the facts. And Claudia, I hope you got your paperwork word ready when you was threatening, talking about you was going to sue Boo Boo. Have them paperwork ready, baby, because you can't, you, you're you under oath when you're in, in the court of law, sweetie. 
and and guess what? Defamation of character. Defamation of character. Yeah, you've been lied all through, all through what you said. So let's get back to the the beginning. Boo. So this is what, ha what how she yeah, said she was This is how it all started. Okay. Okay. Way back, look, she keep talking about 40 years ago. Oh, baby, then you must be 80 now. I thought you were 60. But anywho, um, <laughs> way back, you know, when I I was the star of Flavor Love and Charm School, popping everything. When before clout chasing was a word, this old lady that I don't even know, never met at this time ever. Still haven't met her. I've been I've been waiting to meet this supposed uh Oh, I've done so many things. I, I don't know one movie she's been in. I don't know one anything that she's been in. But nobody knows. never met her. Um, I'm minding my business being the star that I've been. <laughs> and she literally um went did a BT special being messy. And she starts calling me out by name and saying, Boots is a hood rat. So that debunks. What she is stating to a blog, VH1 Baddies, that she claims is, I hope you guys caught that, lower end blogs. Okay, we're going to get back to that. Mm. And that she be writing in the DMs to get them to take things down. Okay. Mm. So, um, yeah, she went to this supposed lower end blog, VH1 Baddies, who's actually a great blog that she actually stalks and is obsessed and writes about me on a daily. And... <laughs> While I'm popping on this show and me and Monique are beefing, right? She happens to go on a BET special, not knowing anything about me, watching the show as a crazed fan, and says I'm a hood rat. So that debunks her stating the lie that she posted, okay, which is defamation of character, where you sat here and lied. You know, you made that story up about the girl sitting at a panel, like as if BET hired you. Baby girl, you wasn't doing anything with your journalist degree at that time. Remember that? Okay. So the BET never hired her. That was all a lie. You know, that's what Karens do. They lie. And um, so let's debunk that. Then she goes on to say, we were all on a panel and I'm just mad because she made a hood rat um, comment to me. This lady would never step to me to this day to call me any types of hood rats. What hood rats live in $2 million houses when I was on charm school? Let's make it very clear. Where, where she, how she grew up. I'll wait. What hood rats do that? Where'd she get the hood rat role? Because last time I checked, I never fought on Flavor of Love or Charm School, right? But she's she did the same thing on um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know, once again, being a colorist towards Nene and Portia. And she was arguing, correct? So what's the difference between me arguing on Flavor of Love and you arguing on Real Housewives, which you couldn't keep that job? I'll wait. There's no difference but but our skin color. She doesn't mess with black women that are of darker skin of her. I've heard audio of her. I hope we can find that where she actually was talking about black people and how she got beige skin. You know, she be hating on back in the day. She hating on Omarosa because Omarosa is a real female. She's educated. You know, she hates on everyone. What do we all have in common? Nene, Portia, Omarosa, me. We're all darker skinned than her. She is a colorist. She is a Karen. So how it started was, it started from this granny hating on me from the sideline while being a crazed fan. All right. So <laughs> that is how it started back when you were on term school and, you know, the situation with Monique and you did an interview and Claudia decided to chime in on that interview. And then y'all have been bumping heads ever since right well i've so, been checking her ever since well you've been checking her ever since how did it start this week lord <laughs> so this lord. week i guess she is still talking to me 18 or 19 years later we shot the show in 2006 <laughs> so um oh. and and i am still that girl that bothers her so badly she has never been that girl you know all of the bobbing and weaving if you could catch my drift she has never been that girl with all of that, the strong jaws and all. So I would be, I would be very upset as well, you know, if I'm working that hard and my jaws are hurting and I don't get anywhere, I would be hating on me too. Cause I'm a legend in this game. I would absolutely be hating. Absolutely. 
You know, I wish she would have just put that journalist degree to to work because I've never seen her do any work like Lisa Ling. I love Lisa Ling. You know, I've never seen her do it any of that. What I've seen her do, though, is um, go on these supposed, what she calls hood rat shows, like Zeus and, and you know, uh, Love and Hip Hop, you know, those shows that she, you know, talks about and calls us all hood rats. And, you know, all we know is reality television, you know, those shows that she loves to take our money, but she doesn't respect us as Black women. You know, that boggles my mind, you know, and the obsessed comment, baby, you are very obsessed and you are too old, but you bringing up my children is the wrong move. And so by the way, and by the way, with the children comments, let's, let's get that in hand. Yes, she's a coward and she's scary. She's threatening. Did, you did, know. Wait, 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 wait. We need to, we need to like bring the audience in on, on where the children's comments came from. Cause I did well, mention it in the previous live, but well, let's start with my children weren't even born when these shows were out. That is the reason that she shouldn't even be mentioning my children. If the argument, let's stay on topic, you know, call it Claudia. If my, the topic is this show that you call so ratchet and hood rats and we're running rampant and we're this and that, my children were not born then. So why are they being brought up, Karen? <laughs> Excuse me, Claudia, colorist. I would like to know that. There's no difference between me or Claudia. We both were arguing on reality TV. What's the difference? Oh, my skin color. Okay. So um, when the kid comment came up, I actually sent Michelle the, all of the emails because actually I, I tried to save her behind and I never even posted everything. But it bothers her that I was a star of two shows. Yes, Look at all these that emails. That I was a star and still am of a show that was about, what, almost 18 years ago? Um, why is she so bothered? If we are hood rats, we're beneath her. Why is she commenting on anything? Because last time I checked, she was clout chasing off of me. We don't know who this girl is. And when I Googled her, the only thing that popped up at the time was deal or no deal. And I just saw 50 girls holding up numbers. So I'm just confused on who the clout chaser is. Because last time I checked, she's riding my coattail from day one and making basically colorist comments about me, which is hood rat. Where'd she get that from? I've never lived in the projects. I lived in a $2 million home. As everybody saw in charm school, when they came to everyone's home, I didn't know that that was um, hood rat behavior and um, styles. I never knew that. But, you know, I think she, you know, is so much into her Karen movement, Karen movement, that she doesn't, can't see a brown skinned woman being educated because she's such a crazed fan. You know, she reaches out to these blogs and to me and my DMs. Yes, she reached out to me. I did not harass her. She harassed me and other blogs about me and has been defaming my character from the very beginning for 18 years while I'm the star of this show. 18, this beef has been going on for how long? Since 2006. And we are in 2023. She said that you're obsessed with her. Yeah, you know, sometimes when older people get dementia, you know, um, you, you know, sometimes age, they need to go into like, the listen, homes Larissa, Larissa, and they need please. to get taken care of because, you know, their their memory gets lost. You know, she needs a lot of help. She really does. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. What did she exactly, what exactly did she say about the kids? Let's start. There. So she mentioned my beautiful children in a okay, passive what, aggressive way to a blog. Okay. And she Shall was I pull to... those receipts up and we just Yeah, let's them. go ahead and pull that up. Okay. It was on um was it on VH1 Baddies? Oh, oh yes, VH1 no, Baddies. I had all DMs, of them. I had DMs all of them. you guys. She has so much time on hands. You know, I thought that somebody with the supposed number one talk show, yes. Hold on one second. Yes, yeah, yeah. You know, you can mute your mic if you need to. Hold on one second. Oh, you guys, it's a lot. Listen, if y'all haven't watched the previous video, I went through all of the receipts because I knew this was going to happen because Larissa is on fire. She is fire hot at Claudia. And I almost knew in my heart that she was going to come on and just go in and let happen. And listen, she's been windmilling from, hold on, we're going to pull these receipts from, here it is, right? 
<sighs> the neighborhood talk brought this up yesterday. Okay. Everyone was dragging uh, Claudia and apparently Claudia went into uh, the neighborhood's talks DM and begged them to take it down. But of course, other blogs had already picked it up and were um, starting to repost it. Now, here are some of the DMs from Larissa's inbox. Okay. Claudia Jordan said, I know you want, I know you want your respect, you know, from throwing it out there for a rapper on a reality show 20 years ago that turned you down. And yes, as prestigious as that is, I'm sorry, I can't praise you. I've been trying to go back to bed for the longest, but you keep trying to pillow talk instead of letting it go. And I'm trying not to be rude, but are you done checking me? You feel better? You still want to fight me when you see me at a random event? You hope to see me at again? Larissa, oh no, honey, I left the show because he wanted to F-U-C-K and I wouldn't. So go get your facts straight, boo. I have never been turned down so you could keep your testimonies to yourself. And by all means, don't praise me. Praise God on a real note. Claudia said, yeah, right. Larissa gave her the thumbs down. Claudia said, however you want to rewrite history, boo, it's your world, Boots. And Boots said, I'm sorry, you mad because you have no history. And Claudia, you're so angry. I see why Flav told you to beat it. And Larissa said, I wish you would enjoy life and stop hating on those who made the platform you tried to be on. Uh, Claudia says, so I tried to be on Flavor Love. Girl, go feed your child. This ain't going too good for your charm school. Didn't work. Call Monique. Uh, Larissa said, tread lightly, Claudia. My family doesn't need to be mentioned. And Claudia said, tread lightly with all your rah-rah bullshit. What you will never do is punk or intimidate me. You're mad I called you a hood, hood rat. It wasn't you specifically. There were several of you. And... <laughs> several of you, and you spent 10 minutes of your interview on me to get some traction. You done called me names and through your 90s insults, and you're supposed to be better now, and a mom, that ain't coming for your family, boo. That's pointing out the obvious. As a mom, it's time to give that goofy hood rat act a rest. Uh, Larissa said, don't flatter yourself. You were mentioned because you are all talk, and if you feel intimidated or or uh, intimidated, I don't know why. You disrespected me when it was uncalled for. As far as me being a mother, I don't have to defend that to someone like you. You better tread lightly when it comes to, and I don't know what had happened. But yeah, this is some of the um, DMs. Um, and they was, you know, going at each other. But Larissa seemed to be level-headed. And Claudia was all rah-rah, you know, speaking about her uh, child and whatnot. So Larissa, are you still on mute? No, I'm not on you. Okay, I'm just okay. letting you finish. Yeah, so, so going um, back to those messages, because I sent you the ones that weren't included in those um, blogs that I posted. We okay. can read those as well. But yeah, that's how the um, child comment came up. Mm -hmm. I had just had my last child, which is my beautiful son. So she was, you know, obsessed over me looking at my Instagram, noticing that I just had a child. That's why she made that comment. But as everyone can see, what does my child have to do with anything of a 10 year old show at that time? I didn't have my child then. What are you talking about? In that message, she is the only one acting like a quote unquote hood rat that she claims, you know, where she, you know, the Karen got that from the movies and stuff that she watches. Um, She's the only one who was acting oh, like that. Oh, you said a bitch that laid on her back to get her whole career to get nowhere in life is calling someone a reject because they told the truth about your lame ass. <laughs> that's when it got nasty because once I'm reading all the messages, you know how it is when they're writing, you're writing. So once I mm -hmm. realized what she said, I said, yo, you want to get nasty? Let's go. Cause you bringing up family members because you have nothing else to talk about. But the mm -hmm. truth of the matter is she is a colorist because like I stated and, and fact checked, you do not have any reason to call me a hood rat. Cause if I'm a hood rat, she's a hood rat. She was on a, a platform arguing i was on a platform arguing with the girls what's the difference our skin mm -hmm. color she's an idiot she is not educated she is a liar and she is a colorist i am tired of people play, trying to play me over and you know insulting what my success of a show these as people know 
I have not been in this industry for a reason. I don't have time for these games because I'm the real deal. I don't have time for the games. And I don't like, personally, I've owned my own businesses. So I don't like nobody, you know, doing all this, oh, firing and all that. Nobody can fire me. I can say and do as I please. But as far as Claudia and being on a platform like Fox Soul, for Fox Soul to be okay with this and condoning this is should be outraged. And I, I don't care what anyone says. We are bringing up a show in 2006, like she claimed in her quote, 40 years ago. How is that relevant to today? Nobody knows what I do. Nobody knows, I share my kids on their birthdays and that is it. Nobody knows me as a mother. I keep it that way because I like my life private. For this woman to come out that does not care about my black children, that she is probably talking about on the low because she's fake and she really doesn't care about any brown skinned women, she, she better not ever open her mouth. And being passive aggressive using my kids is a problem. She has defamed my character for the last 16 years over a Damn. show because she's upset that after all this jaw breaking, she hasn't gotten anywhere. Is that my fault? That has nothing to do with me, sweetheart. Get your game up. Haters come out the woodworks all day, every day, but claim what I have done is nothing. It's a lot. We are in 2023 and I am still being talked about by this hag. For what reason? For what reason? You are setting up whole uh, movie scenes about me stating, oh, let's play like we don't know Boots and we this and that. If you don't know me, there should not be any footage of you mentioning my name or having co-hosts of yours or whoever they are in the background kissing your behind, um, listening to what you have to say. That's corny to me. For you to tell somebody, ask me about Boots so I can say I don't know her. That is corny. And you have right. nothing else better to do. And quite honestly, that's obsessive. For real. That's obsessed. <sighs> So what was this low key her uh, in this blog's DMs trying to say that she was going to the police about you because of some of the y'all going back and forth in DMs? And that's another thing. She writes in the DM of the blog, VH1 Baddies. And, you know, what she thinks is she thinks she's smarter than brown skinned women. So, you know, she thinks she's going to play the Karen role, but we can play right along. Let me read a little but, bit of this. He said, um, "Yeah, let's he read said, it." He uh, said, "I don't know the bitch, never will, and she will never beat my ass without going to jail." She's actually proving herself to, in fact, be a hood rat with this behavior, as she's a mom and she should want to be a better example for her kids. And to try to make a correlation with me hosting a reunion is silly, because you, because you all see, I try to get to the story with the girls both love and hip-hop reunions i've hosted where no fights and the ratings were good she should realize making violent threats is a crime that i will take seriously this sounds like she's a karen honey let's talk about what that novel she, she's she, what she's doing is she's telling half truths okay mm -hmm. love and hip-hop is known where they lay hands on each other okay let's mm -hmm. let's keep it real why is it that She's bold enough to call me a hood rat, right? I guess because my show was 40 years old, right? On, on the same network, by the way. But you have a show where they actually are hitting each other, right? It doesn't matter if they did it at the reunion or not, which is probably a lie. We all need to go back and look because, you know, Claudia, you know, with that dementia, she forgets a lot of things. So, um, you know, bottom line is that show was worse than my show if we're going to talk about hood rat behavior. And she's such a coward. She wouldn't dare say that in front of those cast members. Just like she has never came to my face and said anything to me like she tried to play in those messages. And she would never, ever say that without be. Let me stop. But she would never say that to my face. Let's make that very clear. That's why she is threatening police action. And Claudia, please draw the papers up. We are gonna be two suing motherfuckers. Ooh. Okay? Because... I have so much on you. You have very little on me, sweetheart. Any yeah. parent will defend their child. Don't you ever in your life, like I stated, nicely to you the first time, but it's not going to be nice any longer. 
You will not play with me. I don't care what threats you want to bring. Where's the paperwork? Draw the paperwork. Because, baby, you will lose this battle. Starting with the lies, baby, that I got on you that I can prove in court. Do you want to take that route? Or did we think that this hood rat wasn't educated enough to know how the court of law works? When you are under oath, you have to tell the truth, sweetie. And they don't care nothing about your dementia. What's next? What can settle? What can resolve? <laughs> what can resolve this solution? Like I'm I like I, needs to fire her. She is a colorist. Period. Oh. I'm not well, playing we, with her. I don't I don't networks. feel I feel like that's why Fox so hired her, honestly. Because it probably know. is. I am so tired of women like her that want to play victim and act like they are all black when it is when they get attacked by people. I am tired of the blogs who are punks and they take down the truth of matters. People talk about they don't like storylines and fake things. Well, these blogs start lighting them up. I'm the real deal. I don't have to go by no storyline. I'm going to give you the real deal. I'm going to give you the truth. I'm going to give you the raw truth. And this Karen, Claudia Jordan, you're going down. Draw the paperwork. Where's the paperwork? Don't make idle threats, baby girl. I'm waiting because I got a lot for you, starting with the lies and the defamation. Do we want to go there? I'm waiting. Don't you ever in your life bring up my kids. Don't you ever be passive aggressive when it comes to my children. I don't care how you take that. Take it how you want to. You know what it is. You talk all that mess about brown skin women all these years, but you don't want to catch a fade. And you're a cop calling rat. <sighs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm just amazed that she has all of this energy to call you obsessed with her when it's clear from these hundreds of messages that she sent you. And it's clear from the messages, the long messages that she sent the the blogs, that it seems like she's the one that's obsessed. She goes from platform to platform to platform, trying to plead her case like she's this Karen who is the target of everyone. When she's targeting everyone, I'm 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 just confused. Can we find the audio where she is talking about um, darker skin? Oh yeah, definitely. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because we want to bring the facts. Because, you know, Claudia likes to lie and try to, you know, control the narrative. So we're not going to let that happen today. Oh, but, you know, so, she claims her ex-boyfriend um, released that and that I personally, Michelle Brown, am uh, trying to smear her reputation. But I will definitely um, play the original audio. Hold on. You know, it's right here. And Only while you're finding that, I'm going to let people know this. My The shows that I was on was very fun and entertaining. She was a crazed fan, just like a lot of other people were fans of the show. End of story. Ooh. Hey, Jordan, doing because a special I report for Get Entertainment. I don't usually do this, but it's for my friend Tina Davina. It's her birthday party. It's the all black everything birthday party. I didn't really think it was a good idea with all these black people walking around because like I'm black, it's hard to see. I can't really see who's who in all black. I can only see the beige people like Cecily, Jason, Jamlan, kind of Tina, myself, everybody else. I only see see the nine so whatever it's all good it's her idea it's her birthday we are here for tina davina it's her birthday she's all black everything birthday party i didn't really think it's a good idea with all these black people walking around because like i'm black it's hard to see i can't really see who's who in all black i can only see the beige people like cecily jason jamlan kind of tina myself everybody else i only see see the nine so we all i have um. never address my or address my people as black people that's what karen's do uh, people of other races that are colorist and racist. That's how oh, they wait. react to our kind. We're going to play As this audio those again. black people? Yeah, let's play something else. That <laughs> No, you go. No, I want, you know, when she was talking about her people, you know, she said she represents her people. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. We're going to listen to this. Hold on. Let me put this in. Your thing, and I, I disagree with you. I I don't think she's cool. I think she's awful. She spread a false narrative about me being a colorist based on a video that my ex put out and, and told people he was determined to 
um, make black women hate me. And um, he knew, he, he knew. the. We talked, we talked about this earlier. Like, how can black women hate you if you're a black woman? Like, Absolutely. Like, clearly Boom. you are not, like, I'm just trying to figure out, Boom. like, if you're one of us, how can you tell us that we're going to be against you? Hold on. I'm just, I'm just letting y'all hear for y'all stuff. She spread a false narrative about me being a colorist based on a video that my ex put out and, and told people he was determined to um, make black women hate me. And um, he knew he, he of it. Um, and he bragged about it. It was, it, it was, it was going to hurt me because it was my own words, but he knew what he was doing. And people ran with it and she's running with that. Um, do you know how hurt that, that made a lot of women that support me? Um, she jumps on my throat on everything. It's like, it's, I just, the double standards here. Like people say, oh, leave Nini alone. This girl has been on me for years doing Nini's dirty work. And if I could trust her to be honest, but she can't, I, I, I tried it before and she chopped up some of the video. I mean, and she, she put it out there and it's like, I just see her as an evil human being, you know, like. I think she's far worse. Like I, I, I don't hate Nene either. Like she just bends just so just ignorant towards me. But I don't. I'm, it's like whatever. But Michelle has gone out of her way, criticized my network, um, the, tagging me, colorist Claudia. I, I work for black folks every day, meaning for my people, like in our best interest. To the point where I got racist white people coming at me saying I'm racist against white people because I'm so pro black. Like, I don't think you understand, like, how much I've been, like, hurt, being hurt over this. It's been crazy. I did reach out to this lady before, and she was ignorant, and, and I, she gets a lot of attention by being the, the victim. It's wild. You know, she jumps on my throat, anything bad. You know, Gary Owen, I didn't help. Gary didn't cheat not, not, with none of my friends. That's the goddamn show. I would never allow that. But just she always be canceled. broadcasting to her followers that I'm this awful human being and she's put way too much time into it. And it would help her more than it would help me. I see the big picture. I totally agree with you. It would look awesome for two black women to come together and squash something. I didn't even want to do that with Nene one day, but we didn't have, not publicly, but just to show people, like, it doesn't have to be like this, but I get more attacked by from my own. You know what I mean? I don't have these issues with the mainstream blogs and I hate it. Like we shouldn't be doing this. Like we should be able wait, to report wait, 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 on people's wait. stories. You and know, she almost said I get more attacked by my own people, meaning white people, right? She almost said that. Hold on. Mm -hmm. But from my own, you know what I mean? I don't have these issues with the mainstream blogs, and I hate it. Two black women to come together and squash Wait, pause something. It, Michelle. I didn't want to do that with Nene one day. But she says she refers to mainstream as white. You notice that? But yes. the blog. When well, she was just talking about the blog, she said lower low level. Bottom. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. but we didn't have not publicly, but just to show people, like, it doesn't have to be like this. But I get more attacked by from my own. You know what I mean? I don't have these issues with the mainstream blogs, and I hate it. Like we shouldn't be doing this. Like we should be able to report on people's stories. And what I said about Nene wasn't even evil. Like it's just being made into a bigger deal because it's me and her. You know what I mean? But yeah, Nicole, uh, I don't trust Michelle. She she gets on live every chance she gets criticize my show, me, my network, everything. And she's lied on me. And, and that's just been damaging, you know? Those are those Karen tears, honey. As soon as we start talking about it, then I have like people in the chat, get over it. You're dragging it, Michelle. Why are you talking about this? Because this is what I do. I'm a blogger. I, I bring up things that I want y'all to think about, good, bad, or indifferent. Y'all can agree with me. Y'all can disagree with me. But at the end of the day, I'm going to talk about it. Colorist Absolutely. Claudia, on the other hand, goes to blogs and try to censor people. She tries to stop people from telling you what the truth is. She tries to beg people to take down things that are not favorable to her. And that has been going on for years and years. I didn't know Larissa, like I've seen Larissa on TV, but I didn't know her personally. And somebody tagged me in her live last night and was like, girl, did you see this? She's saying the same things that you've been saying about Claudia for years. And that's what made me go over to Larissa page and was like, Larissa, would you come over and talk to my people and share your, you know, story? And, and here we are today. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
but it is it is classic it is uh racist it is all of the above i understand that y'all be like but she's black no she's biracial which means she's white and she's black she has part of each in her okay her mother is caucasian she was raised by a caucasian mother listen i have nothing against biracial people you know i don't want nobody to think that okay but at the end of the day claudia has some ingrained issues with women of darker colors like I, I just don't get it. She always has this problem and then wants to play the victim. She sits on her platform. She gets other people to do her dirty work, like Junkie Dineva, Al, Vivica Fox, or whoever to do and her dirty work. And them two nobodies in the car with her. Right. And the two people who was in the car with her while she's in the back, you know, under protection of cover, cover saying, you know, these people don't like me. This is this. And I'm just a victim and they're obsessed with me. And I don't understand it. Michelle's going to interview her. And she's going to give her a platform. And I don't understand why they really don't like me. No, she's not the victim in this situation. Italian is not a race. That's what I was going <laughs> to say. Like, what are y'all talking about? Italian is not a race. I'm just trying to figure out her mother is from Italy, but she's Caucasian. I don't understand. But anyway, um, go ahead, uh, Larissa. Go ahead. And what else would you like the people? Uh, to we know were about reading this? those uh the messages that weren't post posted. Mm -hmm. Um, at the very beginning, you know, it's it's just disturbing how this older woman that has all of these jobs and is so um I guess that what you're not gonna do, Larissa, while I'm sitting here. Tell is me. dragged her for her age. Nah, we about the same age. Now, don't be saying this older you? woman, this older woman. Old I get you? that. But guess what? You don't look like that with that double chin Claudia has. So, I would never know. Oh my God. You okay. look good. Because, mm -hmm. you know, melanin, that's the melanin in my skin. Yeah, that's but the melanin <laughs> that she hates on. Look, that's the, that she hates on. Okay, but I'm just saying, like, um, I just feel like, I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm, I'm pull up the receipts, guys. It's really cracking me up these comments go ahead um it's just disturbing that this supposed educated woman that she claims to be which she is not lies doesn't even have her facts straight i don't know one journalist that don't have their facts straight so she must have got her degree from those nurses you know how the nurses they pay for their degrees and they're all fake they must have a journalist division Ooh. because she ain't got no type of journalist nothing in her all of her facts are lies. They are not credible. And once she has lied on me, she is not credible. And she feels women like me who have been on reality TV are hood rats. That's what she feels. But she takes our money and she takes our network's money, but doesn't respect us. Fox, Soul, VH1, and Zeus, stop giving her our money. <sighs> okay. We Would know like Fox that? is ran by Caucasians, but the Fox soul part is supposed to be, you know, of supposed our skin color. But Fox, we know that that's, Fox, that's far from it. Fox soul is owned by the Fox Corporation, which is owned by Rupert Murdoch, who is a known uh, person of Caucasian descent who, you know, they say does not like black people. I don't know nothing about that man, but we all know Fox is a very conservative organization and Fox so is just their way of having uh, um, a subsidiary of Fox to um, get black dollars and you know I, that's that's what happens Michelle and is not in her Dan, don't try Dan Lee, Dan Lee that just made a comment and said all biracial people are not colorists nobody said all black biracial people were colorists Claudia Jordan is a colorist that's who we are talking about. We didn't say all biracial people were colorists. Mm -hmm. If you are biracial, then you are biracial. You should identify with both. The problem with her is she is identifying with the Karen side and specifically targeting people that are darker skinned than her. That is a colorist. Pull up anything. Pull up anything where she has done the same for a Caucasian person. Because we'll wait. I'm, I'm reading the comments, y'all. They on your side. They are you on know, your side. I just can't stand people who feel like, oh, she, she was on this show. You're right. The show was old. So why are we trying to hold that up to 2023? Nobody knows what I do for a living. Nobody knows what um, degrees that I have. 
Nobody knows what I do with my children. But when I do post my children, they are lovely. They are beautiful. My children have a happy life. And for a woman who has no children, who has been hating on me before I had them, has no business speaking on me as a mother, especially when I am not like a, um, what are they called when you post them on YouTubes and have like the YouTube channels with your families and things like that. There are no like receipts of her, any, any claims that she is making, let's say that. Any claims she is making, there are no receipts that she is bringing. She is running her mouth and that is defamation. You bring up my kids, baby girl, Drop that paperwork because we gonna we gonna see if you really about that life. Because see, you thought that I was a hood rat, but I actually know the law very well. And you will lose this battle. I got all mine lined up. I'm waiting, waiting for your lawyer. So what's good? Would you like to take questions from some of these people? Yes, let's do so. I, I do you want to go through these uh, DMs while we wait on people to... Uh, click the link. I just dropped the link for anyone who wants to come in and ask a question uh, of Larissa. Please be respectful to our guest. She is a guest in our home. Okay, it's 1,400 people in here counting Facebook. Um, do you want to look at some of these uh, text messages while we wait for someone to come in? Yeah. Okay. Now, I was looking. I was like, I can't read all this. What is all this? Look at all this. What it was four hours. This lady took four hours or maybe even longer going back and forth with me in the DMs. It's a lot. I don't even know where to start, but okay. And just the way she's speaking with the one you pulled up, you're taking your anger out on the wrong person. Girl, no one's angry but you. Be mad at your guidance counselor. Like, like girl, what? what? Do I need to like, block you to end this no combo sense. or can I trust you to stop on your own? I really am not trying to be rude, but I have to. <laughs> and then you said a bitch that laid on her back her whole so-called career to get nowhere in life calling someone a reject because they told the truth about your lame ass. Yeah, that's how I get all my jobs, laughing face emojis. While success is, is reality tele television, you're so lost, Claudia. I thought you would be better than that. Hold on. Uh, better than that. You said if, and she said, if fucking led to jobs, you wouldn't be a failure. So there goes that argument. Reality TV for two seasons, TV shows and films for 18. But once again, all hood rat C is reality TV. Wait, what? You did it for free though. Okay, bye for now. And, and, those, said, and those three paragraphs, I can prove that is a lie. So that's defamation. I can prove oh, all of that is a lie. Okay. And, she, and uh, where, where was I? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Exactly. And Somebody said, said well, that's what Miley show. Oh. She's been fired from every job she has had. And then she's a one hit wonder. She was one season on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She was one season on like marriage boot camp. She'd be on all those little straight to DVD movies. <laughs> Like, I'm trying mm -hmm. to figure out, like, how is she saying that she's that girl? She's on YouTube, on a, on a talk show on YouTube. Y'all keep acting like Fox So is a TV channel. She's on YouTube. Oh, Lord. Hold on. She said, uh, you said you thought she was educated. She can't spell counselor. She went on to say, well, Larissa said, well, that's what holds call a job by sucking him. Then yes, you do have more jobs than me. <laughs> I think you should have made more. That's all. And don't didn't you get fired from the Ricky Smiley show? Okay, uh, okay, way to go, Miss. I have so many jobs. Oh, read, honey. And then somebody said uh, I thought somebody said huh? I thought Claudia was educated. She can't spell counselor. Right. Uh, <laughs> look. They call her one eight one. Okay. Um. And then you said you can't keep a job, a man, an argument, and the list goes on. Remember, you wasted time out of your so-called busy schedule to watch me on TV. Whatever you claim I was doing, listening to my interview and write me on IG. I lived my life at twenty one. Heard your whack ass redundant hood rat rant and responded. Now you mad? So she called you a hood rat first, and then you know. Uh, tried to, you know, claim that, you know, you were <sighs> targeting that she her. Claimed, um, she actually claimed in that falsified um, DM that she sent VH1 baddies that I mentioned her first, which is a, a lie that I can prove in court. 
Waiting for those papers, Claudia Jordan. Um, that was a lie. The sit down was a lie that all the girls were, were at a panel. That's a lie. That did not happen that way. You are a crazed fan. You are obsessed. And you need help. Seriously. You are not that girl. And you have never been that girl. I have always been that girl. That's why you are on my page 18, 40 years later. Whatever number we want to come up with. And the reason oh I am that girl, because I'm real reality. I'm a legend in this game for a reason, because I speak the truth. No matter what, if somebody disagrees with me or not, one thing they can never say is that I lied about something. I don't have to lie on you, Claudia. We got all the paperwork, but we gonna see what that hand on that Bible gonna do when these papers are drawn up. Oh, hold on. We got a few people in the back. Hold on, let's, let's get Toria first. Hey, Toria. Hello, good evening, ladies. Hello. How you doing? I'm fine. What did Claudia do now? Why did she come for her? Why did she come for you, young lady? Pure jealousy and the fact that she has never succeeded. So her insecurities got the best of her. And that had nothing to do with me. I'm over here living my life. It's not my fault that the show that I was on, that I didn't even win at that. So if I'm not that girl, why was I, why was I targeted? Pure jealousy. But it's because of the fact that I don't have to win any of these shows and I'm the talk of the town. Nobody has ever broken our records. She and for those of you who are my maybe. level, she's definitely not on my level and never has been. All these old shows she's talking about still her her wax show on the Fox Soul Network still has not hit those records. So with all this key key and I don't understand what it is because baby, anything that I do hits. So it's all about the jealousy. She wants to be famous so badly. She is very disrespectful. She is very ugly towards black women. And I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of the hood rat rant like she's always done. As you notice what Michelle had read um, or no, played in the voicemail, she referred um, as ignorant. I think she said Nene was ignorant or something. Why are black men, women all these names? ignorant hood rat why yeah, I, i'm asking the same question girl i'm wondering why was i targeted i guess it's just my success and i also shared with michelle with michelle excuse me how me and amarosa had the same publicist and we kicked it before me her beautiful mother we and my mom have all kicked it before we had the same publicist and when michelle brought to my attention she had an issue with amarosa as well i'm like oh maybe she saw us hanging out you know because i i have no clue why Claudia has the issue, the only thing I could think of is that her ratings and her su su success has never hit. But that has nothing to do with Larissa. I don't know why she's mad at me. And then all these comments, she's not that girl. Baby, I've been that girl. It's okay. You don't have to keep saying it. The more, she, more you beat it into your brain, it's not going to make any sense. You know? It's sad because she's way older than me. She probably could be my mother. So what is the issue here? You know what I'm saying? I have no clue. But the issue that I have that we could talk about is you bringing up my children that weren't even born during these shows that we are actually discussing. That's the issue here. They have nothing to do with this that are not publicized in the public. I have an issue with that. And the passive aggressiveness when she doesn't care about my black children. I've okay, never seen her do anything for um, <clears throat> black women or any women, period to be honest. And when she she's always going on these shows for money because she just was on that show, last, I think it was last year or the year before last, um, with her ex-boyfriend. And why she came on that show when their relationship was clearly over before they got there. Oh, you yeah, could see he, that anyway. Yeah, he said he wasn't attracted to her. That's right. Mm -mm. And she stayed drunk the whole time. See, and I don't even know any of these shows this lady has been on. I really don't. Like, she, she, and I think that's the issue. I have a natural liking. People naturally like me. And, you know, this is the jealousy the Bible speaks of because she is totally jealous. And it's sick. It's sick to the obsession comment. Everything she is claiming that I'm doing, Michelle is doing, she is actually doing. And she actually is. You know, it's it's just oh, she's mind jealous of Michelle. She's listen. She's I've jealous. been in this very jealous. jealous. <laughs> Here's Claudia. Want to be a blogger? She could be a blogger. If she want to be. <laughs> listen, she could take my place. I don't mind. But my thing is, don't be mad at me for doing my job. You know what I'm saying? 
Exactly. Well, um, and you do your okay. job well. Thank you. I Very well. You. Let me get some of these other people, get some calls to boost. I appreciate you, Tori. Yeah. Okay. Good night. And don't Bye, worry Corey. about don't worry about her because she don't have nothing. She's never going to have anything. And I don't blame you for fighting for your children. She had no business saying anything about your babies, mm -hmm. especially because she'll never have none. Thank you. Ooh. God bless right. you. you. Good too. night, Michelle. Good night. I'll be in the. All right. Thanks, Gloria. Hold on. We got Cindy in the building. Hi, Cindy. Hello. Hello. Hi, ladies. Hi, Michelle. Hello, Boots. I love you for favor and love in child school. I, I love you. you to death. First of all, it's a little joke, but <laughs> don't take it offensive. But you know where um, Kai got her degree from? <laughs> Tasha <Nobody> K. <laughs> Tasha <laughs> K. You know, they, they liars anyway. <laughs> Not a little boozy. Okay. <laughs> what happened? That's what he say? She said Claudia got her her uh her uh degree from another YouTuber named we call her Lil Boozy around here. <laughs> but go ahead. What's your next uh, question? All right. Well, mm -hmm. I put it this way. Yeah, you should go take her to court from uh um definition character and plus go after your children. I mean, if I was a witness on fire wall, there it is. I I'd be uh, your, your chair person. I'd be rooting for you. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you calling me, and Cindy. All right, love y'all both. Love right. you. Bye. Bye. Beautiful. Bye. Thank you. Hold <laughs> right. on, oh, no, we got Trav in the building. Hey, Trav. Hey, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. I just want to tell both of y'all, I love both of y'all. And Boots, you one of my favorites. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And Michelle, what you one of my favorite bloggers. Oh, thank you. What do you think about all this drama yeah. now with this color Miss Claudia? Playing the victim. I, you know what? I don't know what the drama is. Well, I know what it is. She nervous because she feel like she light skinned and that she can do everything over somebody that is darker skin. But that's not the way it fucking works. Mm. Just because you light skinned, okay. What, what does that mean? I'm dark skinned. I got a big ass dick. So what the fuck being light skinned mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just being the fuck real. This is and Michelle, I always comment on your stuff. I be in the chat, but I'm saying light skin don't mean anything. Okay, you feel comfortable being light skin, thinking you can go somewhere. Are you smart? No, I don't see smartness. Because if she was that smart, she would smart. be big to like her are begging people to take stuff down or are you know crying and playing a victim yeah she right. would stand on what she say she need to stand on what she say right I don't see no damn smartness I done had damn I done got the damn fight in this damn weekend North Carolina real OG trail what so well yeah a little violence don't be violent, Trav. We don't. We, we want you to be around. Okay. Well, I won't be violent no more. But I know I ain't getting my ass booked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I appreciate you, Trav. We need strong black men yeah, like you and our life. You and Boots. I love both of y'all. Boots, you one of my favorite. I love you and Michelle. I love you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna get off. Okay. I'll get back in the chat. All right, have a good one. Thank you. Oh, Lord. We got our favorite troll in the building. Hold on. Let me see. Boo. <laughs> Do you got love for Flav? <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Do you got love for Flav? Listen, Lar Larissa, please engage if you don't listen. This is the person who actually told me to get on your uh your live the other night. What you gonna give me? A clock. No. Nope. Okay, look, I just want to say one thing. Like, you know, um, <laughs> um, 
what I did not like though, honestly, is like when you uh, when you didn't give New York her time with Flav. I didn't. I, didn't, I, I like didn't like that. that. No, because first I didn't like you like you know what you was doing in front of all the guys. You know when Flay was looking, and then you, you know didn't when, like that. No, 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 no. And then why when, not? I mean because you know you was with Flay. You know, was I saying? with Flav or did Flav have 20 girls in the house? Well, you know, you was in a competition. You know, you thought he was attractive. Right. right. Yeah. So I never got picked. Well, right. See, see, that's that's the problem. Listen, Larissa, you got you got you have to listen. You have to listen. Monique told you that. You have to no, listen. No, Monique, don't tell me nothing. So let Boots tell you something, sweetheart. So let Ooh. me go on and tell you something. Let me Ooh. educate you on something. Okay. A female like me. A man can never pick me. That was the point of saying I wasn't picked. It was yep, being smart. I, I gotta give you, he you, can you, never you, pick me. Yep, so you guess told what? Him, guess you what? Told I could do what I wanted to do. And as you can see, I had stayed, right? right and as right, you can right. see, I never opened my legs like some of the other girls, right? Right, right. Okay. You, you told him you was a virgin until you was I never married. told him I was a virgin. Well, um, I told him I was celibate. That means yeah, that I'm not having yeah. sex with him in that moment because I was celibate in that moment. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. I, okay, I agree. Okay. Um, also... Um, you know, you was, you know, you and Shay, y'all still be getting into it. Um, I hope you guys, you know. We don't get into it. I don't fuck with her. I don't like her. Okay. End of story. Okay. What are we okay. doing now? Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. okay. So then we have Monique and you and Monique had got into it. And then your mom came. Your mom is very beautiful. You know, she light skin. You. you know, she lighter than Claudia. So you could say you mixed too. Everybody white. But, um. Oh, no. <laughs> Everybody's not white. That's, but, that's really reaching. But but I mean okay. I understand I understand black power black parade like Beyonce said. Are you saying? Let me clarify this because you mm -hmm. you talking real fast. So are you saying that everything that we're pointing out as facts is not a colorist? No situation? no no no. I I actually uh, agree with you on that. I actually it's I mean I didn't know Claudia is from Rhode Island. That says it all. But okay, what do you think about her calling me a hood rat for arguing with girls on Flavor Love? But she was on the Real Housewives arguing with other ladies. Is it isn't that the same thing? It's the same. That's what I don't understand. Like, let me tell you, you you are the start you started as you and new york started as right you, reality tv you know what i'm saying claudia is underneath guys so well is, i don't even know is, is claudia is she considered a reality tv person i, I don't know what yeah. she's considered. maybe a d-lister she's, she's maybe a d-lister she's a one-hit but really you know what i don't even think she's a d-lister yeah like I, the end I, of the I day, would, you know maybe like like not even being funny let's really get into the facts what has she really done nothing that we know of uh, Everyone yeah. knows me around the world. Flavor right. Love has hit records nobody has hit to this day. Right. Flav lives in the same city I live in. We have went bowling before um, a couple mm -hmm. years back. Everything. So right. at the end of the day, he let me know nobody has hit our records. That may be right. intimidating for somebody like her, but she doesn't have to hate on women like me and call us out of our names and then call us hood rats because we're defending ourselves. I could right. call her a B, a F, whatever I want to do, profanity, just like she did to Nene and Portia. So why am I a hood rat? And she's not. Yeah, it, it's like, it's really like no difference. Um, I, I guess she... Probably because she was on a black show. Well, she was on a black show too. You know, yeah. you know, Larissa. I, I just I can't I can't answer that question for Claudia. She would have to like, call in. Like I told Michelle, the only difference is our skin color. Why yeah. am I being labeled a hood rat? Love and hip hop, they scrap. We didn't we didn't even fight like that. But at you, all. And, you and Claudia got the same skin color, though. It looked like I don't think so. Now, Claudia is a little lighter. She just Claudia just used darker filters. Oh, okay, okay. Well. But well, I just want to tell you, Larissa, that I, I just call in and say you're the star, baby. I mean, don't you know? Don't pay her no mind. I mean, you you guys did get into it seven months ago. Well, let me say this. Let me say this to clarify because I am very humble. I have never said I was a star. When I've stated that on this interview, it's because it bothers her that I don't even have to say that. You get what I'm saying? And I just want right. to let and everybody knows there's nothing they can bring up where I'm like I'm the star. I'm this. I'm. I don't do things like that. But when right. I am going to do it is when she's consistently saying, you ain't this, you ain't that. What is her point? If I'm not, why are you speaking of me, baby? I must be. I must be. And that's what I want to clarify with the whole star comment came from her being threatened by me and what I have done. So she said 40 years ago. Okay. I just, I just got one more question before I go. So do you, Delicious and Shay, still want to fight crazy? 
I had to think I mean, about all. You, I had to think about every single one of them. I I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. You you don't want to fight crazy no more because I could set that up on Zeus. Well, I don't even know why you asked that that question. Seeing that on Charm School, regardless of me and Crazy's beef, remember when um what happened with the dress? Season one's hottie had hit the dress. Um, and even though I didn't like Crazy, I knew it was a season one against season two. So that question shouldn't even be asked because well, I'm, we I'm, already know. Okay, we already know okay. I had her back with that one because I got okay. hottie up out of there for her. Okay, I just want to say one you thing, know. Larissa. I'm gonna tell your mom. You don't know that baby gonna be by herself, and somebody is not. Somebody is going to step to her when she want to step to them. I'm waiting for that day. I'm just saying that's what Monique said. That's all I remember, uh, Larissa. And was... this is what Larissa said. I'm waiting. <laughs> Larissa, do you want to fight or something, Larissa? Do you want to fight? No, I don't want to fight. I'm just me to have neither. A conversation with are you, you? Are you a Karen too? Or are we turning into that? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm on your, I'm on your team. How well, let's, it? well, let's talk. Let's talk according to what's going on. Yeah, I'm on your team. I'm just asking. I'm, I'm on the same okay, team. Okay, Dre, 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 Dre. Let's give Marco some time. Hold on, Dre. Marco, hey, I already Marco. know Marco. Oh, and Marco, Marco is, like Claudia. Why are you telling him hi, is, Larissa? Claudia, this is Claudia. I don't care if he likes her. I'm not a jealous Claudia Jordan's cousin has some time. Who cares? There's people that like my enemies all the time. It doesn't. But that's her cousin, Larissa. Who no, cares? No, I'm not. I'm not her cousin. And next, say. what are we talking about? Hello, Marco. Hi, Miss Boots. <laughs> I was just gonna say that I'm actually a fan of. Um, wait, I'm confused. I got the too many screens on. Sorry. Um, too many screens. Say, I'm actually a fan of all three of y'all. Um, from you know, from watching you on know, Flavor of Love, and it kind of it hurts my soul to see all of you guys fighting like this. It just makes me. It makes me so sad to see y'all fight. You know what I mean? Why are you so sad? Because I'm a fan of all three of y'all, and so to see y'all to see y'all fight like this, it just makes me feel we bad. We just calling out the obvious. I mean, well, Larissa did say she'll beat Claudia ass seven months ago, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, she did say that. I mean, we're like, like, we gonna use our words now. Like Just gonna seeing, read them with the words. She can be like, her she, ass by speaking. It's like being in an abusive home and watching your your family fight or something. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to see that. Mm. We shouldn't want to see anybody attacking black women as well. Well, that's what I'm saying. And you guys are bickering back and forth and back and forth. We're not bickering back and forth. I'm defending my children and I'm defending who I am as a woman that she is trying to paint a picture that she knows nothing about. So that's what this is about. It's about a crazed fan who watches me in my every move in my social media for 40 years. So she says, we're going to keep saying that. Um, and she keeps defaming my character and bringing my children in on it that have that weren't even born when this show was out. So that's what we're talking about. And any parent, I don't know if you're a parent, but people don't play about their kids. You know what I'm saying? They have nothing to do with any argument. You could say whatever you want to say about me. I can handle every situation. But when you start bringing up stuff to be nasty, passive aggressive, and you don't care about my black children, there's an issue there. And I'm going to put you on blast and I'm going to expose you. And she would never step to me. And that's the thing. Ask her. You talking all this mess. Why you not stepping to her? We not talking about fighting. She claiming she said this and that. She has never said anything to my face and she will never say anything to my face. She's not bold enough. She's very threatened. I'm the real deal out here. Well, I actually wrote her today. I must say. What I could care less. What do we I just ignore? Because this is all Instagram back and forth. When are we meeting up? What we <laughs> well, she do? said. She I said, don't care what she said. Tell her to tell me to my face. Because well, at this point, this has been going on for years. Why are we still on Instagram? Why are we on social media? She's too old for that. Why is she not meeting up? She wants to bring up everything. Now she now she being a rat and, and a cop caller and threatening and this and that. Let's ask those questions. Which side are we on? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we really doing? Who's the cloud chaser? Because well, Larissa been saying for years, let's meet up. Well, she can don't want to meet up. Can I say something, Larissa? And if she don't want to meet up, she can be quiet. And that's what y'all need to be doing. Letting her know. Why are you still talking then? If you're not trying to meet up, when is this going to end? 
Stop talking about her. Period. End of story. I don't play when it comes to my kids. Jokes aside, I am not the one. Period. Forget all the TV stuff. Forget all of that. That's the reason I removed myself from this industry. Because I'm not, I'm not a joke. None of that. And when it comes to my kids, I'll do anything for my kids. Period. Don't play with it. End of story. Leave us alone. Stop bothering us. And then you're making threats. We gonna be two suing motherfuckers then. Let's go. Draw she the paper. She did cross the line when she started bringing in motherhood and her child and all that. And, Absolutely. You know, I wouldn't even do that. Like being like she's not a mother. She doesn't have any kids. Why would you try to demean this young lady because she has kids and say, "You go feed your kids. Go do this. Go." Don't you have to clock in? All of this stuff she was saying was real derogatory and damaging. Like, come on, Marco. Like, would you say that to somebody? No. Why don't Why don't you just ignore each other? Just, <laughs> just ignore her. How did she go ignore her when she keeps going on live saying slick stuff about her? When she no, keeps going the to the blog Marco saying slick stuff about started. her? When she keeps writing 15 paragraphs in her DMs? Like, how is she going to ignore Let me tell you something. Her? I'm not ignoring nothing. I'm not a punk. Let's make it very clear. I do what I want to do. So when you address me, you're going to get addressed. So my question to you is, you ask Claudia, why are you starting problems and then you backing down like a punk? Ask her that. Because guess what? When Larissa says something, she calls everybody out and everybody gets quiet. Well, she's and not... they walk away. They walk away. Why? I can say whatever I want to say. If you start with me, I'm finishing it. And if you don't want to meet up, leave me alone. End of story. Why are the questions being directed to the, the person who is defending themselves? Why? Because I'm stronger. I'm a stronger minded. That's not fair. I can respond to whoever responds to me. I can say whatever I want to say. When you are addressing me like she did, like we started at the beginning of how this all started, you are going on a national television show on BET calling me a hood rat. I have all rights to say whatever I want to say. No one is going to censor what I have to say. Why is she not being censored? And I don't really care for her to be censored. Let's go. We can all go. We can go all the way. What we doing? Well, can, can I say, Larissa, Claudia really don't have not, a, a voice. I don't care about that. When you open up Pandora's box, you gonna get what you get. Now, Claudia that's why people media. say, like, that's why people has... say stop messing with people and then playing victim. Why is she messing with me anyway? You have been harassing me bullying me all of that then all of a sudden larissa speaks up and she's the problem absolutely not larissa's just more stronger that's all it is and i ain't gonna let nobody play with me because i'm and she know i'm the real deal that's why she's not coming forward and she's writing punk messages now saying she's calling the cops that's why who does that you're a rat in my eyes i'm from la let's make it very clear okay Ooh. we don't do that and the moment that you play games Go all the way with it, baby. Stand on everything. Stand on it. Ten toes down. What we doing? That's all. Ain't nobody going to tell me to be quiet. Not another time. I don't have to. I don't have to. You talk about me, I'm going to talk about you. You say something about me, I'm going to say what I want to say about you. And ain't a motherfucker going to clear it. I clear all rooms. I clear all smoke. And ain't nobody stepped to me yet. Not once. We could run down every chick on the show that had a problem with me. Have they stepped to me? Absolutely not. What we doing? What's this Instagram stuff? What's these games? And then you want to add on that I'm a mother? Don't play with it. Do not play with it. It's the wrong move. And it's disrespectful. Womb man, I bring life. Hi, welcome. You on mute, babe. Click the mute button. All right, product piece. There you go. Can hey, you, can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Yes, Hello. I'm gonna say peace, peace to you, Larissa. I love you, Michelle. I love you both, and I'm agreeing with everything you're saying. I do not Thank like you. Claudia. Every time, <laughs> every time, literally, when I'm in other people's um uh, chats and Claudia comes up, I'm always on it. I'll be saying, Michelle, bring the receipts. I don't Man, like it. I, I just don't like the fact that she tries to play the victim as if somebody is bullying her or if somebody is obsessed with her. You do fuck shit. 
people call you out for your fuck shit, then all of a sudden you go crying like the, the white woman you are and like you are Karen and all these black women are bullying you. I don't like that. I really don't. So. I agree. I agree. And Larissa, I'm I'm telling you, I am 10 toes down with what you're saying because Thank for you. one, yes, yes. And, and I want to say this, I, I, I joined late so I didn't get to hear um, you know, everything that was said. And I'm like, dang, what's going on? Um, but I feel like in this, I feel like this has something to do with her being biracial. Um, she, why she has so much vitriol towards black people, because a lot of biracial people, they be, even though they try to act like, or they, they're told they're special, especially if they have white mothers, they're told they're special by their white mamas. Oh, because they're light skinned. Oh, you're not really a, you're not really, you know, black. You're you're special. You know, you you better. So whenever they are uh, disappointed when they see uh, you know black people and uh, black girls and black children, and they see oh these children are beautiful, these people are beautiful. I thought I was better. You know, I thought I was special because they've been lied to by their white mamas. Because white men don't 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 lie to their biracial children. They don't. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I learned um, listening to Tyreek Nasheed. He really broke it down. I love Tyreek Nasheed. I know, I know, I know. Claudia and I went out also um, tried to yeah. drag Omarosa by calling Omarosa like he, she she was saying that Trump really didn't like Omarosa because he prefers house Negro looking women like her. So I didn't like that. You know, it's like the the. The mm. colorism jumps out and she don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? The little microaggressions, the things she say, the dragging people's hair and wigs and all of that. Like, it's it's just annoying. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead, woman. No, no. And, and, you, and wait I'm a minute. Before she can, and her wigs me. don't, her wigs and her drawstring ponytails that are $5. <laughs> don't be looking no type of way neither. Mm. But yeah, you can go. <laughs> I feel like I really, I really want, because like the last time you had a conversation alive, I commented in the chat and said, I really want you, or it might have been like um on one of your posts. And I said, I really want you to do a live or do like a panel with Tariq Nasheed because you were talking about what you were talking about was really breaking down, um, you know, like the vitriol against, you know, black people, you know, that we yeah. experience. Um, but Larissa, I'm all the way on your side. I'm, I really want to know, and I'm, I hate to re-ask like what happened, but what, what, what happened? What started this? Well, to make a long story short, what basically happened was she was hating on me because I was on the show and I had the most publicity and she did a special on BET calling me a hood rat. It literally was her saying, Boots is a hood rat, she's trash, she's this, she's that. That's the exact words that she said. So for her to go and lie, which is the post that Michelle um, posted earlier, I don't know if you saw that, where she went into VH1 Baddies DMs and claimed that she made up a whole lie, like in a whole sto another story that never even happened to make herself look like she is a victim. Oh, they were at a panel and she just doesn't like I told her this in her face. She never said nothing to my face. If she said something to my face like she claimed she did, it would have been a whole y'all would have had video footage of that. <laughs> I know that's right. Trust me. She she ain't bold like she trying to play on Instagram. Like this seriously, I'm tired of her. She too old for this. So basically she commented on me being on these shows. I don't know nothing about this girl. Like okay. I said, when I Googled her. Um, only her holding up a number sign on deal or no deal came up. So <laughs> I don't know where she's getting that she's this big star. She ain't Rihanna or Oprah. That's who I look at. That's where I'm trying to be. Billionaire status. That's who I'm, I would be, if I wanted to be jealous, I would be jealous, but I'm not a jealous human being, but shoot, I want to be a billionaire too. Those are the only people that I look at. Hey, I want to be a billionaire. So these girls and people like Claudia talking about jealousy and they're, they're this and they're that. She has nothing. Nothing that she has going on or ever has that I would even be looking at. These two that's shows right. that I have done have broken world records. Like, that's not my fault. You know what I'm saying? And it just seems like her her enraged to, like, go towards us brown-skinned women because she's not on the level of a flavor of love. People laugh about how Flav looks. All jokes aside, that show did big numbers that mm -hmm. people are not hitting. We should That's be like proud that we are on a show. It's for fun. It's not serious. It ain't no, oh, it's bad for black. It's none of that. It's for fun. And what's crazy, and was like, I of, Michelle, like I told Michelle. That's the history Michelle, of reality show, TV was flavor of love. You know what I mean? Like everything, right. like 
it was like the start of it. The flavor, of love, mm-hmm. real world, all of that. It would be no housewives or any of that if it wasn't for the flavor, love. Michelle, the Michelle, love Michelle, I, I just email you. Uh, Claudia had wrote me back. I was trying to tell y'all this. And I would tell her she, we don't you know, care about fine. that. When she, she starts going to, she's a grown woman. She Michelle, she said, stick with the hood here. rats. She told me to stick with the hood mm-hmm. rats. So I guess she was calling you and Larissa a hood rat, and I just emailed it to you. She continues to because this is who she is. She mm-hmm. is a colorist. These are the word word choices that she uses for us and us only. But when we break down the facts and people look at well. They argue like you argued on Housewives. What's the difference? People start start looking at the details of what she is saying. It don't make sense of why I'm being. A, I live better than Claudia. Let's keep it real. Michelle has more money than Claudia. How how are we hood rats? Let's let's clarify that. I would love. She has never once explained that. Why? Because you mad? Like, you how you buy a car and you, you can't buy no house, Claudia Jordan? How you buy mm. Bentleys and you can't buy no house, Claudia Jordan? I'm just confused. Like you I getting have PPP houses. loans for forty thousand dollars, Claudia oh, Jordan? Mm mm. Forty thousand dollars. She, she's mad that she does not have melanin, a, a, enough melanin. She a lot of biracial people who be having vitriol towards us because some of them don't, some of them don't, but yeah, a lot of them. Don't. I've I've listened to them and they've said, you know, that they actually wish that they were darker. They wish that, you know, I, you know, it's like a it goes back to slavery. You know, they feel that they're not good enough, that they're not black enough. And, you know, they they um find out that they're not special, you know, you're not special just because you're light skinned. And I have I have like I have light skinned children. I have my my um husband is light skinned, he's biracial, um, but he knows that he's black. And um my two youngest, they are his complexion, and my two oldest are my complexion. And you know. That's one thing we don't play with. We don't play with no colorism. You ain't calling nobody's hair nappy. You ain't doing none of that because that is slave, a slave mentality. Mm-hmm. That is a slave mentality. And I'm tired of people like Claudia. I've been watching her on social media for a long time. I remember when she was going in on Nene and I don't like her because of none of that. <laughs> I don't like it. because I see what she does. And I really, I'm so glad y'all, I'm so glad that this is coming to, um, you know, the forefront with you because she can be called out even more. She needs okay, to but what she him. said about Larissa was wrong. But what did she say was, that was wrong about Nene? Everything. Oh my! God. Everything she didn't said about Nene was wrong, and she she needs to watch her. She listen. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna talk crazy, but she really needs to like like Larissa said. Why isn't she pulling up? Because she's not about that life, and she needs to just really shut it down. Stay where the Karens are. Continue and let to me be tell you this. Um, I don't know what the first bring to life. Is that your name? Well, let me tell you this. Like I showed Michelle, she has all of the messages. We were going for four hours. She put in there. There's a message where she said, I will never respect you. I ain't got to respect you. Did you see that, Michelle? I don't got to respect you. I ain't, I ain't respect. I ain't got to do nothing. I ain't respecting you. Things like that. There's a lot in those messages that are not posted. So when you see me going back and forth and that's why i don't like people making this this weird shit of oh you want to fight oh you want to don't do that because at the end of the day stop playing with me and my family my family my children were not here when i was on this show let's Mm -mm. stick to the topic what we bringing kids in for oh because you're not intelligent enough to have an argument without trying to insult me with my mothering skills because you're dumb and you don't have nothing else to say and jealous Cause she ain't got no kids. That's why I am a I'm a very very good mother. As people see, I keep my shit private. I don't put my kids out like that on their birthdays. I post them only on my Instagram. Period. Cause I can. But at the end of the day, can't nobody say nothing about me. Nothing about me as a mother. They don't know none of that. That needs to stay where it needs to stay. But you know, Larissa, that's what you could get somebody like when you mad, and you know you could get somebody by saying something about you know. Being a mother, like, go take but care I don't of need child. to do that. You know, yeah. I'm not that girl. I right. mind my business. As y'all can see, I don't get into any drama unless someone says something to me first. You know, I'm not into the, you know, nowadays in order they claim to stay relevant. Let's argue. Let's do fake arguments. Let's do that. I'm not into none of that. I mind my business. If I have a beef, it's a real beef because somebody really said something. I don't set up things. I'm not into none of that. I take care of my children. I want to live a good life. I want my kids to live a good life. That's what I focus on. I'm working on another degree. I'm doing all types of things that people don't know about. So it's like for her to make a comment 
pisses me off. That has nothing to do with who I am. And then people want to be funny. Oh, what well, you did this on the show. You who cares? Yeah, that and was when we were it. young. Who cares? That was and a long time ago. Back. Listen, we're not gonna go through all the messages again. Uh, somebody asked, did she really uh, come at you as a mother? Yes, she did. She said you need to go feed your child. You know, uh, your what? child. You need to be a better example for your child. Aren't you a mom? You I'm know, she just kept example. saying that, that over and over and over again. Like what my what kids are absorb. That? Oh, the kids. Uh, what I do know is kids absorb, and they're absorbed. You don't know one thing about me. Don't you ever. That right there, just even saying things like that. Only mothers yeah. know what that's like. That's right. To attack your children like that. Wow. I'm disgusted. And I really like Claudia, like you said, she is not that girl. I've been in a lot of different chats and people do not like her like that. She's not. I mean, she has some fans, but people really do not support her like this. So I don't know why she's making it seem like um, she's so, you know, relevant. She's not. Because she and went then over it's just she's those. the yeah. only one trying to compare and say, I have this. What do you have? I've never done that. I don't have to. I'm not insecure. What I've done was a good run. Great job for me. I love the, looking at other reality stars. I love watching other women, um, you know, have entertaining moments. I love doing I'm not a hater. You know what I'm saying? And you have people like her who go and say crazy stuff to try to make it look like I'm something I'm not. Don't do that. Yeah. Well, I yeah. appreciate it, Womb Man and uh, yes. Flavor Flav. Are you staying, Flavor Flav? Thank you, Womb Man. I appreciate well, it. Thank you so much. Well, Larissa, I, 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 I really enjoy talking to you. I don't yeah. think you enjoy talking to me, but how, how do I, I leave? Enjoy leave? Talking to okay. you. I, I, thank okay. you, Thank you, Womb Man. <laughs> thank right. you, guys. What you say, Flavor Flav? I, I see. I, I enjoy talking to Larissa. I don't think she enjoyed talking to me, but I enjoy talking to you. Okay. Oh, I hope y'all like you know fight. And get it out the way. Me on Slauson and Crenshaw, and just like just mop her. I mean, you know, she needs to. She needs to apologize to every black woman she has disrespected. That's what she Ooh. needs to do. Okay, well, she needs and, to apologize. And, and, and if and she doesn't want to, don't no. mention me. And them and them little them little dumb females that's kicking it with her in that car. I'm gonna address them as well. Y'all are weak. For any of my friends, I only kick it with real females. They will be like, "Why are you mentioning that?" Y'all are all weak. We don't even know y'all. Y'all sitting up here bringing up boost this, boost that, boost this. How do you, like, stop mentioning me, bro. Y'all ain't nobody. These weak females. Only weak to. females hang with weak females. I'm just tired of it. I'm so tired of it. I also think that, that she needs to uh, address the previous color colorist comments that she made. Like she, like, I think in the past she said, well, I've made mistakes. She's never, ever, ever, ever addressed it. Like, you know, even in that uh, voicemail message, she blamed an ex-boyfriend that wanted to turn black women against her. She blamed me for, you know, forming a narrative to try to spin that she's a colorist. She blamed everybody else with, except the words that came out of her mouth. And that's the problem that I have with her. And that's why because I she really feels like we are hood rats. She really feels like we're, we're, we ain't her. That's what she thinks. And she's absolutely, we ain't her. We're not nasty women. We not jealous of other people's platforms and what they got going on. We don't have to insult other women for any reason at all. We mind our business. I'm going to play this audio one more time, Chair. Y'all hit it? Did it play? No. It's, again, I, I truly appreciate you trying, but this is a seven-year thing, and I, I disagree with you. I, I don't think she's cool. I think she's awful. She spread a false narrative about me being a colorist based on a video that my ex put out and, and told people he was coming to um, make black women hate me. And um, he knew he knew the context of it, um, and he bragged about it. It was it, it was it was gonna hurt me because it was my own words. But he knew what he was doing, and people ran with it. And she's running with that. Um, do you know how hurt that that made a lot of women that support me? Um, she jumps on my throat on everything. It's like it's I just the double standards here. Like people say, oh, leave Nini alone. This girl has been on me for years doing Nene's dirty work. And if I could trust her to be honest, but she can't. I, I, I tried it before and she chopped up some of the uh, video. I mean, 
and she she put it out there and it's like I just see her as an evil human being you know like I think she's far worse like I I I don't hate Nini either like she just bends just so just ignorant towards me but I don't I'm, it's like whatever but those like, words ignorant way criticize my network um tagging me colorist Claudia I, I work for black folks every day, meaning for my people, like in our best interest to the point why I got racist white people coming at me saying I'm racist against white people because I'm so pro-black. Like, I don't think you understand like how much I've been like hurt, being hurt over this. It's been crazy. I did reach out to this lady before and she was ignorant and, and I, ignorant. she gets a lot of attention by being the, the victim. It's wild. You know, she jumps on my throat, anything bad, you know. Gary Owen, I didn't help. Gary didn't cheat not, not with none of my friends. That's the goddamn show. I would never allow that. But just always broadcasting to her followers that I'm this awful human being and she's put way too much time into it. And it would help her more than it would help me. I see the big picture. I totally agree with you. It would look awesome for two black women to come together and squash something. I even want to do that with Nene one day, but we didn't have to, not publicly. But just to show people like, it doesn't have to be like this, but I get more attacked by from my own. You know what I mean? I don't have these issues with the mainstream blogs, and I hate it. Like, we shouldn't be doing this. Like, we should be able to report on people's stories. And what I said about Nini wasn't even evil. Like, it's just being a, it made into a bigger deal because it's me and her. You know what I mean? But, yeah, Nicole, uh, I don't trust Michelle. She she gets on live every chance she gets to criticize my show, me, my network, everything. And she's lied on me. And, and that's just been damaging, you know? Where is the lie? Let me say Where this too, to what she said, Michelle. Let me say this to something that she claimed, you know, when she was talking about Nene. Oh, we should come together. Claudia is a clout chaser. When you are hot and popping, she wants to come together. She wants to do this because she wants to ride off your coattail. But she was talking shit about Nene the moment that, you know, Bravo was, was going against her and all of that. She is a liar. Well, she is well, a look, that's and that's she's fake. But but everything she said right, about Nini right, was right, true. Right, right, it was right. true about what she said about Nini though. Was what not. what was true? Nothing. Everything she said about Nini. Nothing specifically about tell us what true. you feel was true. Nini every, just everything. Yeah, Anything she what? said about Nini. Like, what is it? Oops. Oops, sorry, I kind of clipped out. Can y'all hear me? Just being me speaks. How you doing? Mm. Hello, just being me. Hey, you can hear me, Michelle. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> just hey, being everyone. Me. Hey, everyone. Hi. Just shout out hey. to you, Michelle. I love your show. Shout out to Thank you, Dre. You. I love you when you join the show. It's so hilarious. And Larissa, I think you are so, so beautiful. Well, My thank you. On the Claudia Jordan, which I don't pay attention to Claudia. I, I live here in Dallas, so I don't pay attention to her much. I know she well, well, she, she lives in Dallas too. She's staying Garland. So Oh. Oh, well, that explains it all. She ain't got much then. But anyways, um I I just feel like she is one of those ones that because of her skin color, she feels that she should be privileged. And I think she is she has that in the house back in the day type syndrome and think that any, any you know, any woman that is a, a darker shade than her don't deserve certain things. And to me, as far as her speaking as a mother, if you're not a mother, how can you speak to another woman about motherhood when you're not even a mother? And exactly. to me, as a woman with kids, I would take offense to it too. And to me, the worst thing in the world to ever do is argue with somebody online that you will never see, be able to touch. So please don't bother yourself with it. I mean, because it's just going to get you aggravated and worked up because this is someone that if you were to run into her in public, she's just going to call the police. I mean, that's just, I mean, it's never going to be, told. she's going to going to stand up to you or say anything. She's just going to, you know, call the police and then jump online like everything is your fault and she don't understand why you doing this, you know how it goes. So I wouldn't even pay her no mind. I know it's hard, especially when she speak of your children, but you just got to look at it. This is someone that don't even have kids. Clearly you're miserable because if you have so much time to talk and bring another black woman down, it says a lot about you. 
Mm-hmm. He says a lot about you. And to me, you know, I just feel that, you know, you, you're a reject. You are a reject. Nobody wants you. And there's no validity to what she's <laughs> saying, though. You know what I'm Nothing. saying? There's no, me and Michelle are bringing receipts. She don't bring no receipts, just make made up stories. She doesn't she don't have any receipts. She just expects for people because of who she thinks she is, they're supposed to automatically believe what she says. You know, and to me, the people that follow along with her are just as wrong. And it, yep. you'd be surprised that it's so many women of color darker than her that ride with her. And they can't even see the big picture of what she's doing. She only use the color card when it is at an advantage to her. You know, mm-hmm. she she black when it's convenient. That's what I call mm-hmm. it. You black when you com- when it's convenient. You white when it's convenient. To me, mm-hmm. girl, she's please. black when it's financially beneficial to her. Oh, that's yeah. how it. Yeah, that's how absolutely. It's and that's why absolutely. she needs to be canceled. Fuck her. Uh, well, she been canceled for me because I never followed her. No way. <laughs> you know I mean, so she been canceled. For but me, all but these it. black networks, they need to cut it loose. She don't need no more checks since we hood rats, reality television. This, but you the first one begging to be on. Well, if if what Dre said is true and she live in Garland. I don't care if you got the best house in Garland, five <laughs> minutes away, you by the hood. <laughs> yeah, mean, but Garland, Garland got the best only... Walmart, though. The best Walmart, Dre, come Who on, shops? for real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the best Walmart's normally being the best in the in the hood. But anyway, but I mean, yeah, so I, I mean, like I said, it's hard to say ignore her, but yeah, you know. But anyway, yeah, because I, I feel y'all. like you know she she does what she needs to do to get in the block, and you know this oh, was yeah. getting traction. Yeah. People start yeah. talking about <laughs> you, and you know people picked it up, and now all of a sudden she's oh, trending. I don't understand why she's talking about me. And, oh, and you know, take it oh. down, take it down, tell a neighborhood yeah. talk, take it down, take it down. That's why we need more bloggers that are the real deal, not bloggers mm-hmm. who are scared to keep posts up and they can be threatened and punked and taking stuff down. That's not a yeah. flex because Claudia try to play that too, like she flexing. Girl, that's not a flex. It's stupid. And me too. If, if the people would have came for you, she wouldn't have damn asked for it to come down. I told but Michelle that. that they came for you, you know, being that they came for her, oh, it, it need to come down. I told Mich- Michelle that. Michelle, I sent you the email when she said, she told me to um stay over here with the uh, hood rats. Where you send it to? She's jealous. <laughs> to um Discord. Discord. Yeah. Tell her to come down. Right. Well, Tell her to come on live. Tell her to come right. on live. She got so much to say to you. We know you watching. Link. Just come it's on over. Yeah, you know she over there. She got all her friends right now watching yeah, this right now. Yes, she do. All her friends, all the leeches that think that she's somebody, you know, because they ain't got shit going on. All the bitches in the car, all them little raggedy hoes. Yeah, y'all, y'all have her come on here. Y'all so bold. What y'all scared Ooh. of? All this, all this dumb stuff. Oh, she's not on my level. Stop with the games. Baby, I'm not. I'm I'm bigger. I'm bigger, and I ain't even did nothing in all these years. How about that? So why are you mm. not on here? Why are we talking through other people? That's dumb. Mm. Like, we are too old for that. Okay. True. Well, let me take these last couple calls, and I'm about to end this, because we've been talking about Claudia too long. Thank you, Just Being Me. <laughs> Thank you, all See you later. Appreciate it. Uh, side eye. Hey everybody. Hey Larissa. Hi, I love you. Oh my God. Oh, thank you. I'm so fanning out. But she is definitely obsessed and pressed. Definitely. Definitely. And we know you're watching Claudia. Call in, girl. Just call in, call in. Um, but I feel that this is another clout situation because even when she was on Zeus, the girl said she was starting stuff. She is a shit starter. And she knew it, it's it's not even just about her, even if she wasn't biracial, her personality won't allow her to just admit that she is wrong. It's like, okay, well, you know, like even with the thing that she um with the message you played uh Michelle, she she won't never hold herself accountable. It's always somebody else's fault. It is it's just not in her personality or in her, she doesn't have the integrity. And she always talks about having integrity, but she doesn't. She doesn't possess what she's always talking about. Mm-hmm. That's why she got to talk about it to make to convince herself. <laughs> right side, you got People it. are writing in the comments about um, Nene. Um, God bless Greg. Um, I'm saying God bless Greg, but 
you know, even with that situation, she was taunting Nini during that time. She yeah, you didn't say any. Yeah, you, you didn't say anything. You never did anything to me. Blah blah. Just say condolences. You didn't have exactly. To say all that. And then she and she over here talking about she's so successful. And Michelle said she bought a Bentley but get, don't own a house. But you sitting over here arguing about two hundred dollar flowers that you split with all the cast members. I would be mad too. I would be mad too if I was Nene because you brag so much. You do all of this. Oh, I'm this. I'm that. I'm this. Two hundred dollars, really? I that's think that's actually a lot of money to spend that's on Nene. Not a lot of money for somebody not for with a group. Bentley. You know to how much a Bentley is? Two hundred dollars per person, right? No, no, they split. I don't that. think she. I don't think she was in that two hundred dollar category. That didn't include Claudia. When Nene said they put two hundred dollars in, she was talking about all her castmates, and she felt the ways because. She has sent Marlo a whole spread. She, you know, Greg and her had spoke at Todd's mom's funeral and, you know, paid for the food. You know, the, you know, she was just comparing all the things that had $200 happened. $200 between as far six as people. Claudia is concerned. Claudia probably spent $50 to send the flower arrangement child. She wasn't and that's even still too much. She was no, just trying to too be much. included. When you have a Bentley, you know how much money that is. Come on now, let's keep it real. But the, they're not friends, they though. Brags, Larissa, they're not friends. As much as she brags, Baby, for Valentine's Day, I get five hundred dollars flowers, and yeah, I ain't rich like that. Larissa, they're what is not we really friends, about? though. She bragging, talking about, oh, I'm this, I'm that, I'm successful. I got my own show. I this and that, and you ain't got two hundred dollars. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Especially when you present, I don't blame but her. But Dre, she presented it like, oh, Greg, I had so much love for you. So you, she did. That was just talk. Greg didn't like Claudia and Nene didn't either. She called Greg a slave. Remember? Yeah. She said Nene, Greg was Nene's slave. She anyway, does everything for publicity. I have a question. Wait, 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 everything's wait. for publicity to just say, well, I did it so she don't get grilled. That's right. what it is. Yeah. Look, I bet she get her life this week, though, because she was begging to be on uh, The Breakfast Club, but Nene was on there uh, today and tomorrow. So uh, shout out to Nene. And whoever owned that, Club. don't put her on. Don't cut no more checks for her. She is a colorist. <laughs> cut her off. You canceled. Bye. <laughs> Okay. All right. I have a question. Did Flav turn her down or something? Because it seemed like he she make issues with the girls from that show. Because even when she did the next 15, New York had to eat her ass up in the restaurant because she was it's being jealousy. disrespectful. It's jealousy because we popping. You get what I'm saying? She wishes to be known as the reality star that brought everything together like New York and myself. She wishes to be that. And she ain't never been close to any of us, so she just hates. That's what it is. She's very jealous. Very jealous. And then that's why she resorts to trying to insult us, say this and that. But my question to her is, and to everybody else who feel like she feel, why did you watch it? Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? That's stupid. It's just plain old jealousy. It's entertainment. Get your laugh on. Move forward. <laughs> and y'all can't. And people can't tell y'all. Y'all, you can't tell somebody how to handle a situation when you're talking about somebody's kids. Because if you're talking about somebody's child, you prepare to get prepare to get popped back with whatever's gonna come your way. Exactly. You can't tell nobody how to handle that. And like when people are in the comments, like, "Well, Claudia's fifty. Okay, how old is Larissa?" Clarissa, that that that's that. Claudia is old enough to be her auntie, her mama. Like, she need to cut it out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She does. All right. Well, but hi, Claudia. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, that ain't her, child. Ain't nobody. That's a troll. That is not her. But you know, but she I don't read the comments. I'm just saying. You know, she she come here with her pages or her friends' pages to look. Well, Michelle, she is on here right now because she said. Stick with the hood rat. She was calling you and Larissa a hood That's rat. That's why I said that. That's why hood I said rat. she's watching. But we until you call that. in, we we not respecting that hand wave. But she too old to be punk. You know what I'm saying? She's such a punk. Girl, you got something to say. Stand on it. She can't stand on nothing she say. Like well, I said, draw the, the paperwork chat, up. Cloudy. If you want to click the link, come on in, honey. We welcome we welcome you anytime because we, we would love to Shout out your colorist ways. You well, I appreciate playing. you, Sada. I get the work, child. Get it back in Wait. the Wait. Stop playing with people's kids. Play with your private. Bye. Hello. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sada. Um, your favorite granny. Hello. Hi. Your, your fave granny. I can't hear you, love. I'm about to kick you. All right. She gone. SK. 
Hello. Hi. Hey. Um, is this my first time ever doing this? Um, but first, Don't I want to just say, Michelle, I actually love you, and you inspire me so much. Just want to give you your flowers. Oh, and um, are they more than fifty dollars, though? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the $50 flowers. <laughs> um, I just want to say with the Claudia situation, it's clear that Claudia has never picked up a book because she don't understand that it is the melanin, the high molecular weight of the melanin of these black women, Michelle, Nene, Larissa, that gives them the creativity to make them hit different. That clearly wait, 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 wait. Have. So can I ask something? Can I, because it's, it's killing me. She said Michelle, Nene, Larissa. Nene want to be white, though. Why are you We could have Portia in there, in there too. Well, I said that hey, it's because of the creativity that melanin gives you. It's the lack of melanin is the reason she don't have the creativity that they have. And if she picked up a book, she would know. That. She would know that. And Larissa, what I can say is, you. I was gonna say this to you before you say what you say, though, because you keep trying to trying to uh, cape for this lady. Let's, but this is what I want to say. Regardless of what anybody feels about Nene, she made housewives. I don't care what nobody say. What nobody say, she made housewives. Sure okay, is. I know, but so, the, the lady, so the young this, lady, this was talking lady, about black Claudia, one. that got thrown in as a friend. She st it does not amount to that. She she over here trying to think is she flexing, <laughs> think is she flexing, talking about oh and she doesn't compare to me. Absolutely not, ho, because you definitely way below me. You are way below me. Every girl that she talk about, she is below. None of the ratings she has hit, nobody is talking about her like they talk about Nene, like they have talked about me, like they have talked about Portia, like they have talked about Amarosa, and the list goes on. She is very jealous. Let's keep it real. You can say whatever you want to say about Nene. She is the star of the Real, uh, real Housewives. Well, Period. she she's not on the show, right. Larissa. She's not but on the show. But she's not on it anymore. She's the foundation of it. If it Nene wasn't for Lanethia Monique leaks, there would be no Housewives today. Right, and that's and that right. seems to be her track record with hating on us. Every woman has been the forefront of their show. And she has done this too. That is the point. Okay. She has done it. Well, you can I, say whatever I, about Nene. I, I, but at I the feel, end of the day, that's the, where right. the hate is coming from. She right. wants right. that. She wants, the, and like Michelle said, in the whole voicemail, she mentioned attention, the attention that she gets. She's very, that's what it is. She wants this attention we are getting. She's saying, Larissa's not, ain't never been that girl. Oh, I've been that girl, baby, and you've watched it. You did a whole BET special. What are we talking about here? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, let's it's keep true. it real. Every it, single it, person look, she has talked about is above her. Larissa don't even have to be on TV, Everything. and they and she still trends. That's that's what's eating her goat right, right now. Because exactly. she tries so hard, she works so hard, she kisses so much ass. She goes on everybody's page, everybody's blog, and tries to you know be that girl, and she still ain't that girl. She's still not, and she should. It's out of career, it's definitely. And it's probably because she hates so much on people, she's not getting blessed with that. She's such a hater. She needs to stop hating and live her life like I told her in the message. What are you so angry about? You know what I'm saying? It's like, she's the angry one. You continuously attacking black women. She's scared to do that to the white women. Why? Because she wants that opportunity because that's what she identifies with. No, she talk about Nene all the time, Larissa. What are you talking about? You say I she don't she do does. exactly. What are you talking about? You say she don't do that to white women. Yes, she does. She, she, do what, right, she don't do that to white women. Okay. She talk okay. about Nene it's, all the time. She don't do that to yes. white women. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Yes. Speak, please ignore Dre. Um, what else? Uh, like the point I was making was that given basically Larissa, you, Nene, and everybody else, the assist that, you know. We all recognize what it is. We're just giving you the science as to why you hate on black women so much, why you don't have the creativity that black women have. That's all. That's the point I want to make for Claudia. And secondly, Larissa, I watched the show back in the day and 
I've seen so much growth and hear so much growth. So can you just tell us what that looked like for you so your kids don't end up like Claudia? Confused My kids would here. never. That's a blast for me to even say. My kids are so well developed. Like I don't even, what? she would never be, you know, I don't even want to bring up my kids, including her. Um, okay. What was your question though about that? So the question was basically, we've, with you watching you back in the day on uh flavor of love mm -hmm. we could see the growth that has happened with claudia she's still doing the same thing she was doing back in the day getting attention for talking about black people or being on her knees we're saying what that looked like what did you do to evolve from flavor of love to the woman that you are well, just to make it clear, um, just so people know, I was the youngest one on that show. I was 21 years old. I was the youngest, although the girls were older than me. Um, so it's natural for us to develop, you know, like anyone else would do in this world. Um, for me, I've owned my own business before the show. After the show, I continue to have those endeavors and move forward with other businesses. So for me, you know, I don't really share my personal business, but I have on interviews. But most people didn't know that, you know, if they didn't listen to the interviews. But that's what, you know, I was a business owner before that show. So it's like, um, and very educated, went to college while I was in high school so I could graduate at the same time. So it's like, I've always been educated. I think that people look at, don't, back then, let's say back then, because now they do know, you know, we were not scripted, but of course, to put the show together, they'll edit things out. So what you see is for entertainment. And I think people have taken that to try to sabotage who I am, you know, in real life, which couldn't equate to that because of the time. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm just like growing as everybody else is in this world. Um, I've actually been seeking God um, as far as you know, who God really is and just trying to get to who I really am, which I feel everybody should be doing. And, you know, seeking and, and you know, being educated on certain things for myself and my children, you know, like everybody should be doing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm the type where I just mind my business, live my life, try to learn new things, going for another degree. I have, a, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's just, I'm just living my life. The entertainment business, when I was in there, there were no other reality shows. So people always ask, well, why haven't you done anything else? When I was doing it, it wasn't anymore. So I moved on with my life, got married, had children, all types of things like that. So I had just moved on with my life. And, and also, I didn't have a good experience because of this. You know, because of things like this, me being attacked for being myself. Um, I made a comment last night on my live about relating to Krishan and the attacks that people do on her as far as how people attack us when we're younger because she I think it's about 21 22 I'm I think I was around I was 21 when I was on the show so I understand okay. how it feels and people play like they don't remember what if cameras were in their face at that age what if every boyfriend you had you know we saw people y'all would never know what I've done you know what I'm saying or you know altercations with my husband or anything like that you know what i'm saying we couldn't imagine and i told people on my life also you know there's so many people saying oh this oh that we know our grandmamas used to whoop ass let's keep it real grandmamas used to whoop ass grandmamas used to do all types of things and now it's the it's the disrespectfulness that we throw at each other which is oh you too old to be cussing people out you got kids so you can't cuss nobody out what world are people living in? My mama cussed us the fuck out. And so did a whole bunch of other mamas. My grandmother did that. Everybody grandmother. I'm from LA. Everybody did that. Why is people acting like people don't curse? People don't, you know what I'm saying? Fight. Like what world are we living in? You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy how people get on social media and act like, you know what I'm saying? It's And, and it's not just black people. You know, it's all racist. People do that. People get in family members be fighting. Let's keep it real. But then when we get online and we keep it real, it's, oh, look at her and she got kids and she doing that. And they get off the internet and probably fighting they dude, probably fighting they uh, mama. You know what I'm saying? It's just the hypocritical ways of people and people just not keeping it real because they keep their life a secret, but then judge others. You know, so it's just all right. about me minding my business and just moving forward with my life and letting God lead me. And what I need to lead. Everybody needs help with God, you know, and to be, lead, be led in the right direction. And the reason that I have not shared that is because I'm still growing with the Lord. And I like to bring, 
Um, everything I like to have all my facts together. You know, I'm still exploring. I want to get delivered by this man named John Ramirez. Like, there's a lot of things that I've been investigating. Like, there's things I'm trying to do for my life. You know, that has nothing to do with reality television. It just has to do with us being in this world. You know, all of that. And so I just feel like, you know, I stay off of social media. Like, I come on to post. But as y'all can see, I don't really go live. I go live, like, literally probably a couple times a year. Because, you know, I just be minding my business, living my life. And, you know, looking at people, whoever I follow, liking to see what other people are doing. You know, like anybody else. Like, I like to enjoy my life. I want to be able to see what other people are doing. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the reality television world. You know what these girls are doing. Just enjoying life. You know what I'm saying? Spending time with my kids. So so do you talk All to Delicious? I do not talk to her, but we do follow each other and we have each other's numbers, but we have not um, spoken in a while. Okay. Do she look different to you or does she look the same that she was on the show a long time ago? Um, well, I think there's a lot of different filters that a lot of ladies like to play with, including myself. So um, I haven't seen her in person. Um, so I don't know what um, she would look like in person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't seen her. So I couldn't oh, even. Okay. And, and were you, were you dating once upon a time, dating Eddie Murphy? You're doing too uh, much. Real quick. <laughs> SK, can <laughs> I? Where'd you, why you ask that? I just, I'm just asking. Well, no. b before y'all no. get into all that, no. real quick, I just want to say, in the spirit of sisterhood, I just want to say we see your growth. We love it. We would like to see more of it. So don't come off of Claudia. Keep growing. And thank you for having me, Michelle. Love you, Drake. Thank you so much. I certainly appreciate you. All right. Thanks, SK. Great. They said you off your meds. I'm only going to take, like, one more call. Hey, Taurus. Hey, how are I you? I wanted to say, you know, um, you you gotta not mind Dre, cause you know he he one of our huge trolls on this platform. He's like one of my biggest supporters. He, but he, he, come he, right. he they have a love That's hate relationship. A leeway, but I'm about to kick him off. But go ahead. Right, they have like a love hate relationship, so you know you can't mind him sometimes. You gotta just laugh at him. But as far as that Claudia situation, I feel exactly where you're coming from. Because for one, I'm a fighter. Like, I love laying hands on people who deserve it. And she one of those people who need some hands laid on her. And I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about Christ, but I feel where you come from. And as far as a new subject, um, Michelle, you know, Lotto mm -hmm. done sold her cheetah print. She got it on eBay and it's up to 90000 right now what uh you know they was talking about lotto wearing the same cheetah print underwear and oh. so since they was talking shit about it she put it on ebay and it's up to ninety thousand right now she better get oh, that money great. hello right okay. i was well, like okay. I, was, I appreciate you calling in honey all right you getting on um patreon yes of course you are we gotta keep you up all day you do all right, Dre, you getting on Patreon? Michelle. Yeah, Michelle, Michelle, I need to charge my phone, but Larissa, I just want to say, I, you know, I got mad respect for you. I'm glad I, I, I oh, take it that you're from out there in LA, because, um, but it's, I mean, you know, I, I guess you really not into the entertainment industry because you know you didn't get no nose job, facelift, bleach your skin, you know, you didn't do none of that. So I, I, I take it that you, you know, really don't give an f about the entertainment industry, and I respect that. She's beautiful. She don't need all right, that. Right. Right. Well, a lot of people is, and they still do it. I mean, I mean, it's cool, but I think that I needed to, um, you know, I'm just too real, you know. And when it start getting to like this, like the drama we're talking about today, I don't like stuff like this. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But I don't have a problem. But my thing you know is, I don't know. I don't know why she call you a hood rat because, like, on your pictures on Instagram, I don't see like. How can I say like you don't do what? I'm not trying to call it delicious hood rat, but you don't do what you know. You don't show your body parts or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, so from what from what she was saying in the messages, she was saying and and multiple messages with VH1 baddies. What she was saying, the reason she was calling me that was because I curse. Wow, because you oh. curse her, but and she that's was why cursed I mean, in your in your inbox. 
Yeah, so she was saying that's hood rap behavior, and that's why I made the point to say we were both on reality shows. We have both both cursed, red females said what we wanted to say. You know, acted up. You know, did now look what that might mean. Somebody, yeah, my thing is, wait, but you she, like she one at a like, time, people. Okay, when she went off on Nene, she did it in such a she didn't cuss, and Nene was up there like, "B, oh, you saw your click, you know, just ghetto and just trash." Uh, what you were saying, Larissa? I think that she was. You know what I think? I know what part you're talking about. Um, the part you're talking about that that's what she tried to do with that passive aggressiveness. He went off. Oh, that's what she. Him. That's look at Michelle. That's what she was. That's the passive aggressiveness to try to. This is what she does. She tries to lead us into a path to cuss her out, so she can say, "See, look, look at her. She's a black hood rat. Look at her cussing me out." Those are the kitty games Claudia plays. So when she did that with Nene, she was only doing that because she knew it's getting under Nene's skin. Ooh, my plan is working. When she starts cussing, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, and then I'm gonna make her look like this. Then it's gonna prove my point, and then I'm gonna call her a hood rat, call her ghetto, call her. That's this. exactly she, what she does. Those little micro That's what she does, and that's what she right. did. Me. That's what she did to me. But you know what? She can't even try to come at you any type of way because she's trying to bring up something from the past. You were in your 20s. Most but people she's saying us me saying now, like cussing her out now about my kids. You see how she likes to gas. Right. right. But she, let me talk she about her kids. Then you. when she cussed me out, she a hood rat. Look, you're proving my point. That's what she keeps saying. Oh, she's proving my point to the bloggers. Nobody's proving their point. I'll prove my right. point when you come step to me. That's right, do. but she tried to call you a hood rat from those days. But my mm -hmm. thing is, you were 21, you were young. And most people be like, well, you still a baby. I hate when people say that. You still a baby. And I'm just like, okay, so if I was young, that's more can I grow? Step, can though, I not grow? Right. Well, she didn't, well she once say again, that you she grew. also called Michelle, Michelle and La Larissa a hood rat 20 minutes ago. Ain't nobody said so she okay. a hood rat with that ugly right, ass bob she had know. on trying to argue with Nene. Like, and her corn ass toes. Like, anybody worried about her? Corn toe, curlish, Claudia. Like, anybody study her? She need to grow up herself. And she, you know what? Yeah, she won't grow until she have a kid. And her first child is going to be a daughter. I swear to God, it's going to when she have a child, it's going to be a daughter. They always say, kids. I think she passed menopause. <laughs> she go. She gonna have twins, Lord. <laughs> 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 okay. Thank I play you, too uh, much. Taurus and Flavor Flavor for joining us tonight. Thank you. Well, Larissa, well, before I go, I got one more question. Can I just ask one more question? How many one more questions do you have, Dre? <laughs> well, it's actually for you, Michelle. Lord. You got love for Flav. <laughs> Goodbye, Dre. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Boots, Larissa, I appreciate you've been uh, uh, so fun to have tonight. And uh, oh, thank you. you know, we had all good callers. Did nobody get disrespectful except Dre, but he was a little touched. Okay, a little um, playful. Yeah, I think this this little read session went well. Um, I think we got our point across pretty well. The people who got here late and y'all confused, just watch the video before this and watch this video. For those who say I didn't, this is the only topic. This is the only topic for this video. Okay, we had a special guest. She was on here for what two hours. We said what we had to say. We went through the receipts. The previous video is an hour long, and I talked about some other things. So if you want to watch the topics for the day, watch that video. This video was something else so don't be in here complaining okay but yeah i think uh we got our point across larissa you got mm -hmm. anything else you want to say before we go um just want to tell everybody i have a hair and lash line also have clothes on my website go to poshlysavage.com um follow me on instagram at larissa the one all spelled out correctly and um shop away and I also have, um, I wanted to mention too, what I was telling you, Michelle, earlier, um, everything that is going on now is just in a bad time because, you know, what I was expressing to you privately about exposing being discriminated against with my children at a school that I will be exposing soon. So um, everybody look out for that. I will be posting that on my page, um, directing y'all to my YouTube at that time. So look out for that video because we exposing everybody. Okay. 
Larissa, she'll be back. Trust, she'll be back. Uh, Larissa, um, I'm gonna put your links in the description box for anybody who you know watched the replay, and definitely you know y'all check out her uh, her online store. Okay, right? Is that what you said? Mm-hmm. Check mm-hmm. your products. Mm-hmm. Okay, and um, yeah, and y'all go subscribe, uh, follow her on Instagram, Larissa the One, L A R I S S A T H E O N E. Okay, and um. <sighs> I don't even know what to say about Colorist Claudia because I know she's here, but Colorist Claudia, please do better, okay? Uh, you owe a lot of people some apologies. You owe black women, like you say, black women supporters. You owe your black women supporters uh, an apology for some of the things that you said, and nobody has been trying to set up, and nobody has lied on you. It's all been truth and facts, and everybody has receipts. But on that note, thank you so much, Larissa, for joining me. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Larissa. Uh, listen, you guys, if you are just getting here, don't forget to like this video, okay? Subscribe to my channel. And for my Patreon members, I will be over there. It's 2.30. I ain't had no dinner, channel. Uh, I mean, it's 10.30. I'll be over there at 11.30, uh, cl- probably closer to 12. I'll be over there at midnight on Patreon at midnight. So head on over to Patreon. If you are not a member of the Patreon, you can join Princess AG. Just put the link in the description box. And I will, um, yeah, I will definitely uh, see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate you guys. Oh shoot, Larissa didn't call me already. Hold on, Larissa. Uh, thank y'all. For, <laughs> thank y'all for joining me. We we about to get this after show teacher. Um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Shaggy is in, bitch. Shaggy is in. Shaggy. These people don't like me, but that's my. <laughs> that's my. Ain't that right, Brandon? That's right. This is Tyler Perry, and if you want the truth, a lot of blogs don't tell the truth. Straightfromnay.com, that's what you check out. And you love us, don't you? <laughs>